I need to show you guys something. Yesterday on YouTube, I posted a video showing what's been happening in Minnesota that a lot of people don't get to see. And thankfully, YouTube has left it up and not dinged me at all. And here's the video. It's, look how bad it's got. Look how bad Minnesota's got. It's got bad. Um, but look what Facebook has, has done to me. Let's go right over to my Facebook account. We suspended your account. Your Facebook account was suspended because your Instagram account doesn't follow our rules. So they suspended my Instagram account and my Facebook account. Now, luckily I was able to get my Instagram account back. But unluckily, my Facebook account, I think, is permanently hacked. I think it's shot. And my buddy Dan from Tools in Action sent me something here. He's uh, sent me a picture. Let's see if I can find it. You guys are going to want to see this. Here it is. Here's my main account, Stanley Dirt Monkey Genetic. Now, that one is still up, I believe. Right now it is. I don't manage that account. Another company does. But all of a sudden, we've got Stanley Genetic, Stanley Genetic, Stanley Genetic, Stanley Genetic. We have all these accounts, and every single one of these accounts has women that I've never seen before in my life on them. So I don't know what's, if it's a hack, a scam, or what's going on. But for some reason, everything that I've done on Instagram and Facebook was completely annihilated and wiped out. I'm, all right, I'm going to jump in here because there's something I do need you to know right out of the gate. I will never ask you to send me a text message or go to WhatsApp app or do anything like that because that's also happened on my account and it happens on a lot of people's accounts, other content creators. So if you ever have, have any content creator say to you, hey, hit me up on the WhatsApp app or hit me up on something else, that is not them. Content creators, as a general rule, will not do anything like that, and I won't do anything like that. Now, on Facebook over here, everything I just showed you, I have account after account that steals my content, and I'm not complaining about it. It's just un... I don't know, what, I don't know how to say it, but these guys have been taking my content over on Facebook and TikTok and creating duplicate channels with my own with my own avatar with my own image using my videos and I don't take them down because it's so difficult to take them down it's almost impossible to go through because as soon as you take one down another one pops up so it's almost like it's not worth it and I'm hoping that if you follow any of those accounts you can realize that it's not me and especially if they're trying to message you I will never do that protect yourself you guys because that's how they get your private information. But there's something I really wanted to talk to you about. So I'm going to jump back into the main video. But I just want you guys to be safe. Don't fall for this stuff. These scammers are going hardcore. They're hitting content creators like me across the board. And they're using that to get to you guys to get to your bank accounts. I've known two people that have had everything that they've had completely wiped out from scammers lost their entire farms, their properties, because they fell trapped to these guys. And a lot of times they come at you like, oh, you know, I just need some money to help me get out of this, or they they act like they're girls or women or whatever and desperate, and they're not. They're some big, hairy, freaking smelly dude in another country that's sending you pictures they found off the internet and scamming people, and it unfortunately works to a certain extent. But there's something I really wanted to talk to you about, so we're going to jump back into the main video right now. Of posting the video where I showed it. And a lot of you guys are criticizing me. And you're saying, in the comments from that video, you're saying, you're just taking advantage of these people. You're not actually helping these people. And here's my two cents on that, you guys. Most people don't even realize how bad it's gotten. We've got to recognize that there's a problem so that we can start to recognize that we need to work toward a solution. Hear me out for just a moment. I need you guys to understand, I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am what I call a patriot. And a patriot to me means somebody that fights for freedom. I firmly believe the Republicans are bought out almost as lockstep as much as the Democrats are bought out. And they're both controlled by what's called globalists. And the globalists are BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. And those three companies are each worth 
14 trillion dollars combined value of 45 trillion dollars and those three global corporations own 87 percent of the s p 500 the s p 500 are the top 500 performing corporations around the world so one major corporation owns the means to to put they make the missiles and they make the medicine so warfare is in their advantage they want to sell missiles they want to sell medicine they want us divided they want the people of the united states not to come together they want us to be separate and bickering think of it like a magic act while they while everybody's looking over here we're bickering and fighting over stupid stuff that's fabricated the real action is happening way over here it's a sleight of hand and they're actually just taking advantage of creating this strife between us that's why i believe in social media you see so many people posting so many divisive issues and it's just creating this warfare and keeping us at odds with each other imagine if we posted those same divisive issues but we also posted, hey, we can make it better. We can do better. We can come together as a people. How strong we would be if we were united. The globalists would not be able to control us. And what they do, how they actually control us, is they bought out our politicians. Now, think of it from this point. If you wanted to control the United States of America, you wouldn't try to buy out all of the people in the United States of America. You would simply just buy out the people that represent all of the people. And if you doubt that they've done this, all you have to do to confirm that these politicians that we've elected are bought out is look at their net value before they came into office and look at their net value after they're in office after a short while. It's not from selling freaking books. It's not from selling freaking books. If you look at Obama, you can look at Republicans or Democrats, but let's just look at Obama. I know the numbers on Obama. When he went into office, he was worth $1.7 million. When he first went into office, when he stepped out of office, he was worth over $77 million, and it's still growing to this day. And that's not from selling freaking books. That's from political favors. There's a movie called Drain the Swamp, and it describes exactly what politicians have to do to actually have seats of power. They are forced to sell out because of what we've got. We, the people, have got to stop bickering. I'm not blue. I'm not red. I want freedom. I want freedom from the globalists that are controlling us and getting us to fight. I don't want to fight with my blue brothers. I don't want to fight with the red people. I don't want to fight with any of them because there's corruption and there's things that are going wrong on both sides of the aisle and we need to get rid of all of that. That's when we start to get rid of that. That's when we become free as a people. That's what our founding fathers wanted was this freedom and they seen it happening and they wrote rules specifically in to our legislations to protect us from this happening and we are coming to the point where we're testing those rules and those boundaries so it's not a problem about the red team it's not a problem about the blue team they're both controlled they're both bought out they're both manipulated by the globalists it's a problem of lack of freedom and they want you and i to fight you don't have to see eye to eye with me and i don't see eye to eye with you that's fine but when we fight we lose when we unite, we win. It's a huge difference. Instead of fighting, let's come together. Let's take America back. That's all I got to say for you on this video. And hopefully I can get my Facebook account back. And if I can't, oh, well, I'm not going to stop talking about what I feel is important. And I honestly, I love this country, but I do not love this government that runs it. I have felt that it has been corrupted, bought out and manipulated for decades. And it's come to a, a head. It's, you look at the last election, Obama got 69 million votes his first go around. His second election, he got 65 million votes. 
Hillary Clinton came in. I think she got around 65 million votes. And then somehow Biden jumped up and got 81 million votes, but Kamala Harris got 65 million votes. There's too many things that just don't freaking add up. And they're shoving it right in our face. And we can't be sheep. We can't be silent. And we can't censor ourselves in fear that somebody will come in and criticize us because that is exactly, exactly what they want us to do. They want us to be at odds with each other and forcing each other to shut up. So if you don't agree with me, I love it. Say it. Use your freedom of speech. Use it. Be loud. Be proud. And I will be as loud and proud as I can. But let's, let's not attack each other. Let's try to find common ground. Let's legitimately try to find a reason why we can work together to take America back, to have all of the freedoms that it was originally founded on, everything that it was meant to be. Let's try to work together to do that. And then after that, you can walk around with your blue hair. I don't care. I freaking think it's kind of fun to look at once in a while. But let's not go after each other's jugulars. Let's try to work together. Anyway, that's my two cents. That's today's video. I just wanted to show you what was happening. It can't be a coincidence in my book, but that's it for this one. God bless you guys. Stay safe out there. and Let's just try to get along. See you on the next one.